Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Live TV. Today, we're joined again by Riggs Eckleberry, CEO of Origin Clear, ticker OOIL. Riggs, welcome back to the show. It's a pleasure, Mike. Thank you. Let's start off by talking about the shift in the company's business model since the name change and your three-year strategic plan focused on acquisitions. Can you give us an overview of that plan and how it benefits shareholders? Mike, you've tracked the company for a long time, and I know that our birth was in algae, which is the original oil. That was our original name. Over time, we turned into a company that could extract all kinds of solids from water. Uh, and so we really decided to name the company Origin Clear. As the technology matured this year and is now really making its way, we decided to took a look at the next opportunity. Now, the, throughout America and indeed the world, uh, industrial and agricultural water users or water polluters, you might say, are outsourcing their water problem to vendors, people, service people in their local community or their, their region. And these are typically mom and pops. So it's a very fragmented business. We uh, saw the opportunity here to uh, create a group of companies that would unite the smaller companies into one larger one. And uh, as you may have seen, we've completed our first acquisition. And indeed, we do have a three-year plan to continue from there. And what types of acquisition candidates are you looking for? Well, we are looking for companies that are, oh, we have a, uh, uh, what we call a deal screen, which is in the PowerPoint on our homepage at originclear.com. And we are, you know, uh, working hard to find companies that are pure service companies. They don't have hardware manufacturing, which is high capital. They're not another technology company because we have a technology. They are uh, really companies that are um, doing services, which is high margin, typically in the five to $20 million revenue range. And uh, they're headed by a dynamic uh, owner who plans to stay around for a while and not go off play golf because we want these companies to take off. And furthermore, we're not about to start running them. These companies need to continue to run so that we're going to acquire quickly without getting into a big management headache. And in this day and age, it seems like water cleanup would be a huge industry. So uh, help me give our investor audience an idea of what the real size of this market opportunity is. It's an amazing uh, market. Uh, in 2010, it was worth half a billion dollars, I mean, sorry, half a trillion dollars worldwide. And by 2020, just five years from now, it will have doubled to a trillion dollars. And here's more, even more important, by 2030, there'll be a 40% gap between supply and demand worldwide. So there's going to be a real crunch. This is leading to a lot of recycling of water. It's the easiest way to get more water is to you reuse what you've got, which is also creating much more headaches. Now you've got water that you can't just open the tap and use. You're going to have to recycle it to the quality of what you had uh, in order to reuse it, and that's not easy. So that's really what's creating the opportunity. And obviously huge growth in this worldwide, but just in the U.S. alone, what do you see as the primary growth drivers here at home? You know, the water cleanup industry is growing in, in varying ways, and it's really by sector. We've got certain sectors uh, that are growing as much as 20% a year. Others more like 5 to 7%. So, you know, obviously we're, we're focusing on the high growth sectors. We can pick and choose. There's a lot of companies, really good companies out there that we're interested in bringing into the group. And not to forget that we have a great technology, which will be in, in the end, sort of the home run to make it all work. And Riggs, we also reached out to our investor audience on Twitter and we had a couple of questions from that investor audience. Uh, would you mind fielding those now? Why not? All right, so we've got two. The first one is, will there be any news of sales, new relationships for water cleanup solutions? We are working uh, some incredible uh, relationships. Uh, the announcement that we made this morning about our effectiveness with hydrogen sulfide and bacteria actually came out of, of an important uh, relationship uh, site that uh, we are not able to discuss at this time but these are major relationships that are growing that necessarily have to be kept quiet. Having said that, in China, there's an amazing project ongoing to clean up what they call the black water, which is the water that drains out of landfills. It is the worst 
stuff you could ever think of. This water is filthy and very, very hard to clean, tens of thousands of tons a day. And that's what we're really working on in China as our next big opportunity. So yes, we expect to have numerous uh, deal announcements in the weeks and months to come. We'll be looking forward to those. Um, Next question is, is the company in a position to bid and be awarded DOD contracts at this time? Not sure. But, uh, well, actually, you know, we're a licensing company. Okay. We don't go after um, major grants and, and contracts. Uh, our partners do. And the, the, the relationships that we have um, been solidifying in the United States, these are enterprises that, that do get into DOD uh, and DOE type, uh, type projects. So we'll participate, but we won't have to capitalize to follow through. We'll be able to benefit as a licensor. Well, I want to thank our community on Twitter for, for bringing those questions and thank you Riggs for answering them. And that's all the questions we had for today. Any comments or anything else you want to leave investors with before we close? I just wanted to say that, that, uh, you know, we are loving the new business. Um, of acquiring companies. We love progressive water treatment that is making uh, a number of new deals uh, before the end of the year that we'll be expecting to announce. And um, we look forward to having uh, at least one more company, uh, you know, closed and in, in, in our group of companies before the end of the first half of next year. Riggs, a pleasure as always. And until next time, uh, thanks for being on the show. It's a great pleasure. You've been watching CEO Live TV, and we've been talking again to Mr. Riggs Eckleberry. He's the CEO of Origin Clear, ticker OOIL. If you want to learn more about Origin Clear, please visit their website at www.originclear.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.